Sarah Kennedy here. Please consider joining me for my new Sewing and Early Tudor Gown course. This project is designed for beginners, but may be enjoyed by those at all levels who are looking for a quick and easy English gown. This course looks at a gown style popular in England and in various forms across much of Europe between 1500 to around 1525. These gowns are characterized by a square neckline and long flowy sleeves. Based on portraiture from the time period, most dresses do not show any evidence of lacing, and some portraits where women are seated show a bit of bunching or wrinkling of fabric in the bodice, leading me to believe these dresses were loose enough fitting to be easily pulled on and off. Wall garments from the late Tudor period begin to favor a more full skirt, and techniques change so that the bodice and skirt are made in two separate pieces. In this period, it is more fashionable to have a sleeker silhouette with the front and back panels made from a single continuous piece of fabric from head to toe. Gowns were frequently lined with a contrasting color fur or fabric that is often visible on folded back sleeves. Additionally, Many gowns of this style are portrayed with a front slit or V-shaped opening to show off the fancy kirtle, skirt, or decorative panel underneath. This class will walk you through the process from beginning to end and will include information on choosing materials such as thread and fabric that are suitable for your budget, local climate, and preference for level of historical accuracy. We will walk through taking all of the measurements you will need. Then, draft a pattern to custom fit your body. If you have never drafted a pattern before, don't worry. This dress is basically a modified tea tunic with a fancy neckline and sleeves. Once we have our pattern, I will walk you through techniques for garment construction by both hand and machine. If you've never tried hand sewing before, I have even created a series of sewing basics videos on YouTube that will walk you through each of the stitches that will be needed to complete this dress. If you don't have the time or energy for hand sewing, don't worry. Both of the dresses you will see featured in this class were at least partially, <coughs> mostly machine sewn. Finally, we will take a look at different accessories from hats to bags to aprons that you can use to finish your outfit and bring your character to life. Sewing an early Tudor gown, coming soon to a university near you.